Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader back for part two. Unfortunately, I clicked complete recording when I went to pause the recording so I could have some water. So this is part two. So it actually wrapped the first session up for me. So I'm now recording part two. So I do need to pull up the disclaimer again. And if you are watching part two, this is about how to day trade the lower time frame, the 3 1 Renko chart on the NQ. And of course, you can apply this to uh, the RTY um, uh, YM doesn't matter which market the, any of these trading concepts you can apply to any market and of course become a member so you'll find details below on the how you can join so let's get straight back to this video session too so if I remember correctly we got right up to this t12 so what exactly is a t12 a t12 trade is, is where we are bouncing off uh, a higher time frame major EMA and you can see here over on the anchor chart one we've got a beautiful bounce here now this is a very high probability setup and what I've discovered is that uh, probably four or five years ago when I have I found this mathematical equation of uh, having an entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two and if we don't have an overshoot we'll generally get multiple EMA bounces on all three time frames which all happen to be Fibonacci numbers with the exception of the 200 EMA meaning I'll have a bounce on an on the entry chart and I'm having major EMA bounces in the same trend or trade direction on the anchor charts this dramatically improves our uh, trading and the probabilities of trading now you will have this sort of scenario here where this is what we call an overshoot here's the 200 EMA on the entry chart we get a big overshoot quite often you have quite a bit of divergence here it's not too bad uh, this is also for members watching this this is a uh, yes that's a t3 as well and so I took this trade as a t12 and thank you very much now not long after that and if you watch session one I was talking about that at 1 a.m. central then 2 a.m. central we have the European markets opening up and the English uh, the London market opening so I had a really nice t12 setting up down here on the anchor chart too but I didn't take it because it's 157 and it would have been a beautiful trade but woulda coulda shoulda anyway not to worry it would have been very happy with that but then I made a mistake okay so uh, number one it was um, well it's nearly one minute after the market open the London open but I then sold right here now traders you've got it and this is where uh, I, you've heard me talk about many times if you watch my videos and I better show you this again is that what's absolutely critical traders you be regularly checking on your charts where are your pivots the open high low and close that is the prior days your major EMAs being the 89 and 200 swing highs and lows and the high and low of day particularly the 89 and 200 EMAs on your anchor charts so for an example up here I bounced on the anchor chart on my I'm oh, sorry about yes I bounced off for 200 on my anchor chart one down here I sold and I bounced straight off the anchor chart to 200 I won't pull up the anchor chart to 200 but that black line um, uh, represents the 200 on a much higher time frame and I got stopped immediately now I was quite cross with myself because it was a silly mistake and so that was a loss and um, uh, I was trying to force a trade you know focus it was just a silly trade and then because of that I missed what we call a bet the farm trade which uh, is also a t12 it's a bet the farm even though we were selling back down again to that 200 we had room to take a profit and I won't and actually I might as well explain this if you're very close to a pivot 
or a major area of support or resistance uh, it's okay to sell into those areas as long as you've got room to either scalp a profit or get to break even so if you're have got some distance away and you're not going to hit what you your normal profit target would be but say here if you could have picked up five or ten ticks if that was uh, if you're happy with that cover your trade get out on the other hand you can get to break even lock in a couple of ticks to cover commissions and any slippage and if you go through fantastic but because I was peeved with myself there and that happened and it was a couple of minutes later I then missed out on this bet the farm okay so I had to bet the farm with divergence and so I was really quite cross with myself uh, on that trade now then just after sorry I went to just check a chart because I was going to actually look at what's happening live on the market in a moment I've seen we're on a second video I may as well just show you what's happening live on a market with this time frame but anyway I then had my seventh trade just here uh, a really nice um, this was a 2b again look over on my anchor chart one thank you very much down I went and for members watching this I then had a beautiful t3 it was also a pivot bounce off a cam pivot thank you very much and I was out now at this time it was already quite fast back at the opens so be very careful trading around red flag news and around the open uh, so then it was just really getting too fast now what you will find is quite often if it speeds up if you're patient you'll quite often find it will slow down again but the 3 1 on the NQ is quite a low time frame. See, I used to call the NQ the nasty NAS. I now call it the nifty NAS. You get some fantastic trading ranges. But if um, you want a slower market this time of day, uh, you want to look at oil, the ES, uh, the Russell is really good. All of those will give you some really nice waves in the market. So, look, out of this, this is 70 minutes of trading which was actually quite long in some ways uh, quite often I'll have my trades wrapped up in 30 minutes uh, I trades for six wins two losses so it was 221 so well and truly uh, uh, over what well I shouldn't say well and truly um, I'm after $200 per contract now if I'm trading a higher time frame where I have more equity involved I go for 300 for an example if I'm trading the six tick uh, Renko uh, on say the NQ I'm after three hundred dollars per contract so I'll actually increase that now what I want to show you let's duck over and just have a look at this uh, where are we here that's not what we want this is what we want so this is the three one live right now so let me just pull up the anchor chart uh, one just here okay now you can see I've got a number of um, indicators here down here I don't normally have this and I've jumped on when I say I don't normally have this I love the MACD BB and that's what this is is a customized MACD BB the benefits of a MACD BB you've got two indicators built into one you've got the MACD which is a trend uh, uh, indicators some traders will call it a la uh, sorry a leading indicator well not really but it is a great trend directional indicator then you've got the Bollinger Band which is that red green line and that slight outside little thin black line the Bollinger Band is a volatility indicator so uh, it's very very good for trend directions and also for reversals now up here you can see I use a range of EMAs uh, long-term stochastics here and a short-term stochastic for the slingshot trades now all of these dots you can see are those little black ones they're fractals by the way but the green one that's all part of my MACD BB and they plot they're not lagging they'll plot right at that point like as that's a one two one they all plot right at those points now remember we only need and if we go back to this for a minute and we'll go back to the live charts in a moment but if we go here we really only need six eight tick trades a day and that's where potentially you are 
uh, you're on your 12,000 a week in 10 weeks that is the true potential of this so let's just go back and look at these eight tick moves again like for an example just here where would have my entry have been I would have been in on the close of a third candle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there was 12 ticks in that move you had eight ticks in that move now how do you know we would have taken this move I'll tell you how you know look on the right what did I say to you about trending EMAs now remember we are live right now okay whoops we're, yeah so we're live right now remember I spoke to you about a t12 look what you just had look what you just had there remember I said your 89 and 200 EMAs are absolutely magic this for an example is a 2b short just got to be careful when you come down to the 200 so you either want to get to break even consider taking profits now there's a good chance we could punch through but the 200 EMA and the 18 uh, sorry the 89 EMAs uh, give you incredible support resistance when you get your time frames right they're, they're just unbelievable for your EMA bounces okay and with a lot of these trades you get a lot more for an example see this just here uh, rather than eight ticks and what time is it now it is uh, 1218 Central Standard Time so you'll find as the market picks up we then go for larger targets so getting your 10 12 ticks now what does that mean then okay then you only need say five trades a day and you've hit your target for the day so how do we make these even higher probability how do we trade what I call the 80 20 trades now the 80 20 trade is a is a term I borrowed from the late Dick Diamond where he would say if it's not an 80 20 trade that is from not bouncing off a trending EMA or if I don't feel this is an 80 20 80% 80 winning trade uh, I don't take it it's about being selective and really just going for the best of the best he would describe it as being a cat waiting in the <laughs> in the bushes waiting to pounce okay now see over here we had a bounce here off the and see how then it failed but I want you to notice then we ended up having a lot of divergence here so I want you to notice this trade here why would have we entered or even considered taking this trade just here look over on your anchor chart one you've got your hull confirming the trend direction for members watching what else is that one that's a t10 that's your first higher low so if we just scroll back let me expand this for a moment and let's just go back the last half an hour or so right so following the trend you can see here see your black dots the one two ones on the way up so basically uh, every one of those will win us now remember they plot on the candle they're not lagging very simple concept how it works by the way uh, but it gets you into the trade uh, very very early now remember when if you're trading the ES that would have been a great little move there that would have been one two because you enter on the close of it you would have been one two three four four ticks probably one point now this is the NQ so it's only twenty dollars however what you had there was then a nice fifty dollar move nice fifty eighty dollar move uh, you can see there the green dots they are then the greens hard to see it there they're from your MACD BB now note the EMA bounces here remember earlier I said I prefer to trade the Renko's and I've been trading 28 years and I was taught on on trading on tick charts and now I almost exclusively trade on the Renko's because look at this here look how smooth it makes our trade entries traders so we will finish this uh, this video up so the end result was traders that we had um, where was that I had the slide put away this somewhere let me just pull this down 
so that was over 70 minutes we had eight trades and that was actually quite an extended time period and I missed out on a couple of trades there and it's around the the open now if this time frames too fast you jump up to the 4-2 okay the 4-2 though you need a four thousand dollar trading account rather than a three now I know what some of you are going to say but the broker says we only need 500 to a thousand for our day trading margins that is correct for intraday trade day trading margins however if you have a $60 loss you've just lost six percent of your capital you've got to follow your money management rules traders you've got to remember get rich slowly unfortunately so many traders are sold on the get rich mentality and what actually happens then of course they never do get wealthy they lose a small fortune and they fill my bank account because they just give it away because of greed so what I mean by get rich slowly we never ever break our 2% money management rules it's so important you follow those so if this is too fast just getting back to here uh, by the way see this here EMA bounce EMA bounce t12s we're bouncing on the anchor chart one once again see just there they're regular as clockwork so traders why don't you let me train you how to trade these correctly for $197 you get all of my rules is 35 PowerPoints don't worry you don't have to study them all because I teach over 15 different setups however there's really only four setups at work very there's four setups that work very much hand in hand your ruler one the t2 your 34b and the 2b's they all work hand in hand and some set up at exactly the same time and I teach you how to trade these not only in the recorded sessions but in my coaching sessions and so you'll also get one month free to my coaching now after month one if you'd like to continue you just drop me an email uh, on my website it's $297 a month or you can uh, just drop me an email and say I joined up based upon what I saw on the YouTube video and you can get it for $97 a month cancelling in a time but your first month's free with no ongoing obligation come and join me All right traders uh, I'll see you this was session 100 set of part two because I clicked the wrong button but anyway I'll see you on the next video